What is going on guys? It's Diamond Mustang here again, bringing you a tutorial on shaders for Feed the Beast Monster 1.64 and also Feed the Beast any 1.7 pack like Direwolf or anything like that. I'll be showing you on Direwolf. Um, right now we're on vanilla on an amplified world just so I can show you what the shaders uh, really can do. Because I can't show you on Feed the Beast because my computer's not strong enough. But what we got here, um, this is just a regular vanilla world. I actually have this fax texture pack installed, which looks really nice. So these do work with texture packs. They are different things. Um, but after you install it, I mean, the way it changes your world is is amazing. So we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and run one here, which this is the Zeus one, like I said. Um, I mean, your water is gorgeous. It basically, simply put, just changes the lighting. So I mean, the lava emits light. Everything emits light, and it gives you shade, um, which doesn't sound like much but the way it changes your world is amazing and very addictive if you if you start using them it's hard to stop so um but that's basically all that is so we'll go ahead and show you how to get this for feed the beasts One more thing we got here is that it does add also progressive lighting so the torch held in your hand will create light for you which is really nice all right so Let's go ahead and get out of here and we'll show you what to do. So what we're going to go ahead and do next here, I'm going to go ahead and go, <clears throat> I'll post all these links in the description. The first thing you're going to want to do though is go to this first link, which is the GLS shaders mod. Uh, if you Google GLS or if you just Google shaders mod, GLSL will be one of the first ones on there. If you click it, you won't come to this page though. You'll have to Google shaders mod 1.64 and then click on GLSL. This is for the monsters pack. It will bring you to this page here. You're going to go ahead and scroll down until you see 1.64. You're going to click this file right here and then click download up here. I'm not going to download it because I already have it and it won't let me. Um, but that's that one. The next one you're going to want is the, just if you Google shaders mod again, just go straight into the GLSL shaders. It'll bring you to this page, which will have the 1.7 download. It's going to be right here. This one, I believe, is an AdFly one. If you haven't used AdFly, it's pretty simple. Make sure you don't click on anything right here when you first load in. Wait up top right till that gets down to zero, and it says skip ad. You'll skip it, and then you'll download it right here. Again, I'm not going to download it because I already have it. Um, last link we'll have up there is going to be the one for the shader I just showed you. So after you download the shaders mod, you can choose a bunch of different shaders. Um, they all download the same way. You download them and you'll add them into somewhere I'll show you. This is the one that I'm using though, so I'll go ahead and link that in the description. So after we have all those downloaded, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to wherever you saved your monsters in your dire wolf folder or whatever pack you're trying to edit usually i believe they're in they're going to be in downloads right here and then you'll find feed the beast monsters feed the beast dire wolf i saved mine somewhere else so we'll go ahead and go there um it'll look like this though you'll see the dire wolf 20 you'll see the monsters now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go in here you're going to go to your mods folder here open that up and you're just going to dump the right mod in there. So it's this since this is Direwolf or a 1.7 pack, um, that's 1.7 monsters, not 1. Point, or I'm sorry, 1.7 Minecraft, not 1.7 um, Direwolf. Make sure it's for the 1.7 Minecraft of any of them. You'll just go ahead and dump this right in here. So then we'll go ahead and go back. We'll go to right here where it says Minecraft. We're gonna make a new folder called Shader Packs, like this guy right here. So just all lowercase just like that and then we're gonna go ahead and put our shaders in there so like I said we're gonna go ahead and use the Zeus one so just copy that guy and we'll just dump that into the shader packs folder just like that that's gonna be basically it so what we do now is we'll go back and we're gonna do the same thing for monsters so we go into monsters we go into the Minecraft and then mods. We're going to put the 1.64 shaders pack in there. Just dump it right in. Again, go back right here. We're going to make a shape, a folder called shader packs, which we can actually probably just put this whole folder in there. Just like that. Then it has the shaders in there. Again, you're going to want to put Zeus in there, which we already have. So after that, all you're going to do is go ahead and launch your Feed the Beast launcher here.
and you'll just launch them. Simple as that. So mine does take a little while to load. All right, guys, we are back here with it all loaded up. So all we're going to do and do is go into our single player world. Just load up the world. Again, this does work with the Feed the Beast texture packs as well, not just the vanilla ones. Go ahead and jump in here. Might take a second to load. While that loads, I'll go ahead and let you guys know why I'm not making one of these tutorials for vanilla, because vanilla is a lot more complicated, and there's also a lot of tutorials already out there how to install the shaders under vanilla. Um, after doing some searching, a friend of mine and myself, we could only find a few showing how to install and feed the beast, and they were all really complicated, um, which it's not a very complicated process, which is why I decided to make this. But again, if you need one for vanilla, you're going to have to install Forge. Um, there's other ways to do it as well, but there's a bunch of great videos all over YouTube for that. So here we are um, into my monsters world. As you can see, I have everything turned down really low, um, and it's really dark as well. So the reason it's really dark is that's what happens as soon as you install that 1.64 shaders mod. So if you're going to install the mod, you should be running shaders. Otherwise, you get this very ugly, dark world here. But same thing happens. So we go into here. We're going to go into the shaders, and we'll go ahead and do, I think, if we do the Zeus standard, we'll sit at about um, probably 8 to 10 FPS. As I said, the lag on this is crazy i don't even know if i'll be able to get back into the game but you can see it did change back there if you have a computer strong enough to run it um so we do have the new clouds here we are back in here um i'm probably looks like i'm about five fps right now so same thing though you, you still get the gorgeous textures and everything i would never run it on here there are lagless shaders although this one i found lags my computer about as much as any of the lagless ones do so it, it i mean they, they do look really nice as you can see those two simple steps and we did get this here we'll go ahead and show you real quick here too that it does also work with the 1.7 packs so these are all 1.7 minecraft packs here all right and here we are we're going to go ahead and load into this world and it's so i've shown you both on monsters and on vanilla these work great with texture packs um i'll show you right here you definitely do not need a texture pack if you don't want one to run the shaders so my dire wolf actually does not have any texture packs installed on it we'll go ahead and load up this world here very very blocky got a little bit of world lag load there just let it let it all load up all right so no texture packs on this one um but let's go ahead and get those shaders turned on so i don't know if i showed you guys that before um it's really simple it's options and then right here above resource packs which will be your texture packs now called resource packs because they have sound but um, it'll split the language here into two and shaders is right there So this is going to be the Zeus again, which actually looks like it runs a thousand times better um, on my vanilla, or on Direwolf 1.7 than it did on the monsters. So this is without the texture pack again, but again, I mean, you still get the amazing lighting. Um, you can turn off those clouds, they're horrible. Turn off the regular clouds. And you got the, the beautiful clouds there. Um, the water looks great. The shade can be annoying at times. Um, especially I've heard Zeus is a really bright and dark texture pack. So you're going to get a lot of that brightness. You can't really see the sun unless you look right there. You see the reflection. It's just a bright light. Um, that can get in your eyes definitely. You have the updated lava, which I think looks great even without a texture pack. Um, but I mean, you go down here, it's going to get really dark. Because obviously underwater it would be a lot darker. Um, again though. The cool thing is you can just grab a torch here real quick, which we will. And just holding this torch underwater, walking around at night. I think I typed that wrong, yeah. And it, it'll light up your way, which... I mean, it could get annoying if you're playing with people who don't have shader packs because you're not throwing torches down everywhere to light this up. 
but then again it gives you the light you need which is really cool but that's pretty much it guys so go ahead and leave me a like a comment down in the description below let me know what you thought um y'all have a great day